Hello and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Mr. Mason. Thank you so much for taking my class. I wanted to do a small introduction to any of those that are in school, hybrid, or learning remotely. No matter what the case may be, you are in my class and I'm very glad that you chose to take my class. So I just wanted to get to know you a little bit better, get to express who I am, who I am as a teacher, who I am personally, so that way we can build a relationship no matter what the case may be, whether it's at home or if it's here in class. This year is going to be a little bit different. As you can already tell, if you're walking into the school, masks, mandatory, I have mine all the time around my neck. Obviously right now I'm in my room by myself, uh, doors locked, make sure that nobody's coming in to keep social distancing, to keep everybody safe. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that we can maintain a school year and not get um, things shut down. So um, let's make sure that we do that by wearing our masks, keeping social distancing and sanitizing and having proper hygiene at all times. With that out of the way, I just wanted to give a little bit of information about myself. So again, my name is Zach Maisner, Mr. Maisner to all of you. Um, I grew up in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour and a half, two hours north of here, small town. Um, we are known for our university, Edinburgh University, which is a state university. Um, mostly rural, kind of like a smaller suburb, maybe Cecil of um, the Cannonsburg, Canamac area. Um, lots of farms, not too many businesses, but a lot of mom and pop shops. Uh, great place to raise your kids, um, but since I only had like two or three stoplights in the whole town, I kind of wanted to get out of there, um, as many of you feel that way when you're growing up. I grew up with a big family. I had four brothers and one sister, all of us which moved around the country. We still stay in touch. We're very close, which is a great thing to have. Some of the hobbies that I did in high school, um, obviously I was kind of small, if some of you know me or get to know me, not a very big person, um, so took to um, wrestling. So wrestling was kind of like my go-to. I was a smaller student. Um, football really wasn't going to work. Uh, I was like maybe five foot, five foot one. Basketball wasn't going to work. So uh, wrestling really was my go-to sport. Um, and I also liked it because it was independent. You didn't need a lot. You just needed a pair of wrestling shoes and a headgear. Like that was it. Um, not a lot of equipment. Um, also an independent thing I liked was skateboarding. Um, some of you may know I skateboard. I like to skateboard. Um, it's kind of like a fun hobby of mine. Don't do it as much anymore, but I definitely used to do it a lot. Um, even tried moving to Arizona, trying to get a, um, a deal out there to go amateur. Just it's tough. It's hard, um, takes a lot of practice, just like anything, but through doing that, it just gave me a good sense of how hard it needs to, we need to work to get something. So um, when that failed, I took that motivation and applied it to schooling. Um, after high school, I went to Triangle Tech for um, architectural drafting and design. That's where I really um, started my career. I worked for five years in architectural design, actually working down in Newport News, Virginia, which is kind of by Williamsburg and Virginia Beach, where I worked on aircraft carriers for Northrop Grumman. It was a little bit different than um, working, obviously, in architecture, but I was still able to use those skills that I learned with drafting to apply them to working on an aircraft carrier. So the experience was very, very um, unforgettable during those times. Um, after a year or so working down there though I really felt that I wanted to get back into the architectural end of it so I moved to Pittsburgh. Um, was starting to work in engineering and architectural firms here and around the area. During that time I met my wife, um, Mrs. Maisner, uh, back home in Edinburgh where she went to Edinburgh. Um, when I was just home we just ran into each other um, working at a pizza shop together um, back when I was um, just out of high school, long story. Anyway, um, so 
I moved to Pittsburgh. I started working there for about five years, during which my wife was a teacher. I wanted to um, coach wrestling, so I was coaching wrestling um, because Triangle Tech, obviously I didn't go to college for wrestling, but like I was coaching wrestling at the time. Um, and I really liked the school districts. I liked working with students. So at that time, I decided to go back to school to be a teacher, a technology education teacher at California University of Pennsylvania. Graduated from there in 2013, no, 2011. 2011, worked two years at Ambridge Area High School as an Architectural and Technology Student Association, TSA teacher. Um, the opportunity came here at Cannon McMillan and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, this school is awesome. I really wanted to coach wrestling here. They have a long history of excellence here for sports and athletics. Um, along with their excellence in education. So I accepted the position here at Cannon McMillan and I've been working here ever since. Since then I've also got my master's degree in curriculum and instruction from Gannon University. Uh, this is my eighth year uh, teaching here at Cannon McMillan. I currently teach digital video production and architecture one and two which many of you are in one of these classes obviously right now. Um, I also still coach wrestling here a little bit, but I've scaled down. Now I'm just a volunteer wrestling coach. Um, I have a son, Mike, who's four, and he is my everything, and he takes up a lot of time, um, which brings me to my next point, my family life. Yes, I'm married to uh, Mrs. Maisner. We've been married for 14 years, and live in the North Hills area. Um, my son would go to North Allegheny. So it does take me a little bit of time to get down here, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I love working down here. Um, some of my hobbies that I like to do, uh, obviously number one is anything with Mike, uh, my son Mike. I love spending time with him. Anything new that we like to try, any sports I'd like to give him the opportunity to take, um, anything learning new skills that he likes to do. So. Um, Mike is an awesome hobby to have, <laughs> as I'm sure many of your parents um, probably told you you were their hobby as well. Um, but personally, I still like to coach wrestling. Um, I still like to try to golf. Um, I'm not very good at golfing, but it's a great escape for me, so I like to go golfing. And skateboarding. I still try it every once in a while, but it's a little bit harder when you get older, so when I fall down, I usually call it quits at that point and just <laughs> get back in the car and go home. So. Um, that's me. Um, hopefully all of you feel a little bit more comfortable. I'd love to share some more information with you. I'd love for you to share information with me. So, um, I appreciate you listening and this next clip will be more about the class, whether you're in room 300 or 225, architecture one, two, or digital video production. Um, thanks for listening and watch that next video.